Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Wherever you are in the world watching this, uh, as you know, my name's Graham Moore, otherwise known as Daddy Dragon, pseudo name on YouTube. And I am her helping Robin Tilbrook, who is the solicitor uh, that has brought a case to the Royal Courts of Justice. The Royal Courts of Justice in the UK has been asked uh, for a declaration in common law. And that declaration is that we left the European Union on the 29th of March 2019 at 11 p.m. with no deal, with giving no more money over to the European Union. Uh, we left, and we left by law. What's the problem? Well, I'm going to show you first um, the actual issue. So I'm going to share you share with you uh, this document. And here we go. What you can see in front of you is uh, the Act of Parliament that's been elevated to constitutional status. It is not an ordinary statute, right? So the first thing to remember is this is the European Union Notification of uh, Withdrawal Act 2017. Um, it is very simple, 137 words, and this basically repeals the European Communities Act of 1972. Um, it, it, it then makes that an ordinary act and in its place elevated to constitutional status, uh, as said by Lord uh, Chief Justice Laws in the Metric Mara case. This is elevated to constitutional status. One, because it was a referendum that caused it. Two, because of the Gina Miller case and the confirmation that our government couldn't act in relation to this without there being an act of parliament. This is a full act of parliament. It receives royal assent, uh, which is really important. And again, it's very simple. So I'll go to the two main paragraphs, and that is, power to notify withdrawal from the EU. There is nothing about extensions, etc. One, the prime minister may notify under Article 50.2 of the Treaty on European Union, the United Kingdom's intention to withdraw from the EU. That notif notification was given and it expired on the 29th of March, 2019 at 11 p.m. This section has effect despite any provision. So it, it, in other words, this is, um, this is repealing the European Communities Act of 1972. It is not impliedly repealing, as in the metric martyr case, is expressly telling people what it's doing. And very clear, and it went through Parliament, House of Lords, and received uh, Her Majesty's assent. This section has effect despite any provision made by or under the European Communities Act 1972, and this is very important, or any other enactment, right? That's a very powerful limb of this law of the land, the statute, okay? So what we're doing now is we have took, taken this um, to the next level, which is we've asked for a declaration from the Royal Courts of Justice, and there are various arguments being put forward by uh, a number of very, very good lawyers, including a very, very good solicitor, Richard, Richard Tilbrook. Uh, then you have Francis Hort, barrister. Uh, then you have uh, Gun Gunner Bur Two seconds. Gunner Beck. Um, again, very good uh, expert on law in this country, as well as European law. Uh, we've also had a number of appeal court judges, retired, have said that this is not only highly arguable, it's factually correct. So, therefore, a 137-word law, which is how the laws used to be, um, is, this is actual constitutional status, therefore, you would need a referendum to take this down. You can't remove it, right? So that's the first thing. So I'm now going to go over and I'm gonna show you and point out something that's very, very, very important. And I want people to understand exactly what it is that I'm talking about here. So I'm now gonna do another share and 
I want you to understand what it is that I'm saying to you because this is crucial. And when I say crucial, I mean that in the legal term. In front of you now, and I'm going to put a link to it, there is the House of Commons Library briefing paper. That's very important. And it's dated the 3rd of June 2019. Brexit questions in national and EU courts, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. You can see they've put the European flag in front of our flag. And there you have a picture of uh, justice blindfolded with the scowls and the sword. The problem that we have is if you go down, you can see you've got the Miller case and uh, relevant uh, extracts from that. And then you've also got 2.3 extending Article 50 on page 11, 12 and 13. And 11 and 12 is in particular to Robin Tilbrook. You can see that there. So I'm just going to blow that up so you, you understand exactly what is there, right? This is in the briefing. So what I need you to understand, quite simply, is that the elites, your members of parliament, House of Lords, etc., the legal ent entities, the civil service, have all been briefed on this case, including 650 members of parliament. They know about this case and have decided that you, as the electorate that put them there, are not allowed to know about this case. They have, in effect, conspired with the mainstream media, who are largely Remain, that's all broadcast media in this country, and they have conspired with your MPs to stop this information coming out. Now, we know this because there's been two... We know this because there has been two... I do apologise, my phone is going off. We, do, we understand this because there have been a number of conversations and a number of complaints to the BBC. The BBC, Channel 4, ITV, Sky News, etc. All of the broadcast media, including Ofcom, who have been complained to, who are part of this elite establishment, will not allow this case to be aired to the public, to the electorate, to those who voted in the referendum and especially not to those who voted leave. Why is that? Because the elites have decided, the elites have decided that you shouldn't know about this case, and therefore they have said, we're not going to tell you, and we're going to cut this from all mainstream media, barring two newspapers, one, the Daily Express, two, the Daily Mail. Daily Mail has covered it slightly. Daily Express have covered quite a bit of the story and put videos of myself and Robin discussing the case online on their website. So what I'm going to do now is take you to the point in this document, which is page 11. The reason why I'm going to take you there is because this is very important. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to find the right bit here and as I go down uh, you will see touch wood it's going to come up nine then eleven so then you've got again uh, it starts with this page further reading crown crowd justice websites article 50 challenge at uh, this webster UK constitutional law association um, and then there's references to a number of cases. In particular, we have then got a large briefing on Robin Tilbrook. So I'm showing you this directly. And I want everyone to share this and especially share it in the United States of America. Because surely someone out there must think to themselves, why is it that they can simply get a directive, don't have to pay any more money to the European Union, have literally put a line over the whole situation and walk away, and we can get on with building our trade relationship with the United States of America. 
Robin Tilbrook, English Democrats. On the 2nd of April, the English Democrats issued a claim for judicial review claiming the first Article 50 extension was unlawful in domestic EU and international law. And that the UK automatically left the EU at 11 p.m. on the 29th of March 2019, the original withdrawal date set out uh, in the November 2018 withdrawal agreement since amended. Actually, that part of it we're not interested in, but we expect some disinformation from even um, the House of Commons Library. Then there are uh, a number of different applications uh, with reference to this. Uh, the Queen on application, the English Democrats versus, this is the actual case, by the way. So if there's anyone wondering, um, you know, th does this case actually exist? Of course it exists. And, and it's in there. It, the elites know about it. They just don't want you to know about it. So again, it goes down that the heart, that, and, and the heart of the matter is in there. There are also press releases from, uh, again, which we know that they've seen. Uh, there are lots of information on this particular doc document. Uh, there's uh, the, the grounds of resistance. Everything is in this document. I'm going to put the link in there. You can go and read it, right? Um, you must understand that there's also links in there to the Daily Express articles, to the Daily Mail articles, and to various videos, right? So... Let me tell you something, that's because you keep sharing this. Now, let me ask you to do me a massive service, and this country a massive service. Please send this video, download it, try and download it. I'll show you ways in which you can do that. Download the video and send it directly by email to your MP. Or take your phone, book appointment up with your MP, take your phone in there, have this video ready and say, I want you to tell me why it is you are conspiring against us, the electorate. I want to know why you have conspired, you have allowed Gina Miller's case to be wall to wall, and when it is a leave case and this country can walk away, no deal, by law, the law that you passed, you don't want to tell us about that law. Right? You need to be able to get this message out. You need to share it on all social media sites, all social media sites, and we need to get this message out. It is the elites that have been briefed on this, yet you haven't. You tell me. Right, people, there's my uh, five-minute rant on justice. I am now going to do one more thing, and that is hopefully I've covered everything for you. And I want to say one thing before we move on. And that is, the Constitution is the solution. I love every one of you. you you're, you're doing everything that you can. I understand that. And I understand that you are all fantastic people. Keep going. We are winning, believe it or not. We are winning. And all we need to do to push this is to get this message out there. Get it to John B. Wells. Get it to Sean Hannity. Get it to every single, post it on Twitter to all of the people, including President Trump. Post it to anybody you think can help us, right? So the last say is this. The Constitution is the solution. Be lucky and thanks for your help.